Let's do it. It's getting a little bit annoying how instead of having Pewds or PewDiePie, he now calls himself PewDiePie or Pewds. It's getting so annoying. I'm not being mean, like, but can he please change his name back to Pewds? Well, to be honest, my YouTube name is can he please change his name? I'm so sorry, don't hurt me. Why is that so annoying anyway? I don't understand. My videos are better. You are- uh, you are probably right. Just check your channel, there are no uploads. What? He's right, he doesn't have any videos. Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So I'm still in bed and I just found out that PewDiePie turned his comments off. He is the most subscribed YouTuber of all time and here is what he had to say about it. When I was away in New Orleans for holiday, um, I wasn't checking Twitter as much, I wasn't checking Facebook, I wasn't really... Uh, I couldn't read the comments, like I made sure it was a full holiday where I don't do all these things that I do on a regular basis. Uh, so when I came back and I read the comments and I do all these things and I, I just felt like you bros weren't really there. Uh, I, I'm not trying to offend you bros who show a lot of support and I really appreciate it, but I, I don't see it that much anymore. I don't see the same type of support and I make videos every day for for you bros. That's my reason of wanting to do this. So that's some of what PewDiePie has to say about it and I'm sure he gets inundated with comments. He has 30 million subscribers so I'm sure he gets a lot of hate but he also gets a lot of love as well and do I think it's a good idea for him to turn off his comments? No I don't but his channel is so huge that it probably won't affect it negatively. And so today I just wanted to share my own experience with the comment section, with people's comments, with haters in general and help those of you who are struggling with that. So as a lot of you know, I get a lot of hate comments, a lot of challenging comments, and if I took all those personally, I would be in a mental hospital by now after seven years on YouTube, that's for sure. And for the most part, I leave these comments up. I've got hundreds and hundreds of comments like that. But sometimes, for sure, I do delete and block people if they're going to use my platform to promote their own agenda or incessantly whine, then they can take that shit somewhere else. And those people can end up being like the best promoters for you because then they go and talk about you on other videos, on other social media platforms and unwittingly help spread the message you're trying to spread. So the comments only have power in your life if you allow them to. You open the door and you say, okay, hurt me. Okay, you allow yourself to be hurt by these comments, by the words of others. Remember, abuse comes from people who are actually unhappy in their own lives, who are out of control within themselves. So giving someone who is out of control control in your life by letting them hurt you is bound to make your life unbalanced. So you have to step up and make that choice not to let these comments affect you. Hurt people, try to hurt others. That's how it goes. So the comments say more about them than they do about you. And you need to remember that. Like people have taken social media comments to heart so much that they've actually committed suicide. And that my friends is seriously sad, but it is a choice in the moment. You can give your power to these other people or you can harden up, you can cover the fuck up and you can see them for what they really are. And just keyboard warriors in cyberspace. You know, close the computer off, get out there, pump your lymphatic system, feel good about yourself and not take cyber text to heart. So for me, turning the comments off would be taking it too far because the comment section is almost more important than the actual videos themselves because it encourages discussion and it adds another dimension, different opinions to your videos. It encourages people to like, to visit your channel and revisit your channel to actually read the comments. And Trisha Paytas's channel is a good example of that. If you go and look in the comment section, there's people saying, just here for the comments, just here to read the comments. And she definitely makes the most of that on her channel. So if you remove the comment section, you severely impact your video's chance of being seen. It may not, it may be okay for PewDiePie because he is the most subscribed person of all time on YouTube, but for a smaller channel, you really need to keep that in mind. So remember the old schoolyard saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. And that is totally true. It's up to you whether you let these comments destroy you or motivate you. So eat that shit for breakfast, carb up, and use it to fuel your banana wagon. And at the end of the day, the haters make you famous. You want people to discuss you. So leave your comments down below. What do you think about PewDiePie turning off his comment section? What's your experience? Leave your thoughts down below. And don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. And I will see you soon. And to all the haters out there, that haterade is obviously poisoning you. So I recommend you drink more daterade and less haterade. Peace.